the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, the day the city cracked open. A shocking wake-up call. At 5.12 a.m. on April 18, 1906, San Francisco was rocked by a massive 7.8 magnitude earthquake. It struck with little warning, a violent rupture along the San Andreas Fault that lasted nearly one minute. Ground shattered for miles. The earthquake ruptured about 296 miles, 477 kilometers, of the San Andreas Fault, shifting some areas by as much as 20 feet. It was one of the longest fault ruptures ever recorded in North America. More fire than quake. Surprisingly, it wasn't the earthquake alone that caused the most damage. It was the fires that followed. Broken gas lines ignited a firestorm that raged for three days, destroying over 500 city blocks. A city in ruins. More than 80% of San Francisco was destroyed. An estimated 28,000 buildings were lost and over 250,000 people, more than half the city's population, were left homeless. Death toll debate. Official reports claimed about 700 deaths, but modern estimates place the true number closer to 3,000, making it one of the deadliest earthquakes in U.S. history. Fire breaks made by dynamite. In desperation, city officials tried to blow up buildings to stop the spread of fire, sometimes making the fires worse due to poorly planned explosions. Golden Gate Park became a tent city. Thousands of survivors fled to parks and beaches, setting up makeshift camps. Some lived in tents or shacked for years while the city slowly rebuilt. Birth of modern seismology. The disaster spurred a major scientific study led by geologist Andrew Lawson, who mapped the San Andreas Fault in detail. The earthquake helped launch modern earthquake science in the US. Rebuilding with ambition. Despite the devastation, San Francisco was rebuilt rapidly with new building codes, earthquake-resistant designs, and a renewed sense of civic pride. It hosted the Panama Pacific Exposition just nine years later to showcase its recovery. A constant reminder, the 1906 quake remains a powerful warning that the San Andreas Fault is still active. Experts warn that a similar quake could strike again, and millions now live in its path.